Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Um, it's a good thing to be here this morning. And um, I really thank God for what God is doing in Juniper School. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> I thank God for the principal and um, all the teachers and all the students. I saw your beautiful faces. Your beautiful faces is so glittering. So I love you and I love you all. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much for the um, opportunity for us to be here this morning. Um, when I was told that I'm, I'm going to give this someone, um, I was happy because it's time to have good interaction with God's children. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Okay. Um, as principal rightly said, God has been so gracious and God has been so good by placing us in Korea. And uh, God blessed me and my wife with three beautiful children, just as Principal rightly said. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. With Chichi and the Machuku, and also treasure. So the land of Korea has been a blessing to my family. And we are all happy that we are doing God's works in the Korea Peninsula. So today, um, God placed it in my heart so that I can be able to share with you what God wants every one of us to hear concerning this school, Juniper. Praise God. Amen. How many of us is happy with this name. How many of us are happy with the name Juniper? How many of us are happy? Ah. Hallelujah. Yeah. So today we're going to hear more about Juniper and what Juniper is standing for. <laughs> yes, we're going to hear about it today. Okay, we're going to turn our Bible this morning to the book of 1 Kings. We're going to read 1 Kings chapter 19, and we're going to read from 1 to 8. 1 Kings chapter 19, from 1 to 8, and I read, And Ahab tell Jezebel all that Elijah had done, and whether how he had slain all the prophets, with the sword. Then Jezebel sent a messenger unto Elijah, saying, So let the gods do to me, and more also, if I make not thy life as the life of one of them by tomorrow, about this time. Three. And when he saw that, he arose and went for his life, and came to Beersheba, which belonged to Judah, and left his servant there. For, but he himself went a day's journey into the wilderness, and came and sat down under a juniper tree. And he requested for himself that he might die, and said, It is enough now, O Lord, take away my life for I am no better than my father's. And as he lay and slept under a juniper tree, behold, then an angel touched him and said unto him, Arise and eat. And he looked, and behold, there was a cake baking on the coals and a cross of water at his head. And he did eat and drink and lay him down again. Seven, and the angel of the Lord came again 
the second time and touched him and said, Arise and eat, because the journey is too great for thee. And he arose and did eat and drink and went in the strength of the meat forty days and forty nights unto Horeb, the mountain of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Now, okay, you know, big tree. <laughs> oh, beautiful! Hallelujah! That's great. So, our topic this morning say, under the juniper tree. Hallelujah! Now, do we love the tree, right? Amen. Now, from the book of First King, chapter 19, 1 to 8, we had a story. And the Bible said that Elijah started a journey. Elijah started a journey. How many of us know that we are all in a journey? In this life, we are all in a journey. Hallelujah. Amen. And the Bible said, there is a queen that was called Jezebel. And Jezebel made a threat to Elijah, the prophet of God. And Jezebel said, she is going to kill Elijah. Yeah. How many of us know about Elijah the prophet? Good. Elijah is a great prophet of God. But why will Jezebel want to kill Elijah? Because Elijah is a servant of God. Many times, Satan want to kill the children of God. Many times, problem, situation, things of this life want the children of God to suffer. But God doesn't want us to suffer. God wants to protect us. God wants to guide us. God wants us to be happy and to be protected by him. So Jezebel plan to kill Elijah. And the Bible said, Elijah ran for his life. Elijah ran for his life. Until Elijah get to a place in the wilderness, the Bible said, he ran for a whole day. Elijah was running for a whole day. Do you know what it is or what it means for one to run for one day without stopping? You will be so tired. You will be so weak. So at a time, Elijah was so weak. And the Bible said, Elijah came under a tree in the wilderness. He came under a, a tree called Juniper. In that wilderness, where Elijah came, I, I want to ask, how many of us know that this world is a wilderness? The world is a wilderness. This world we are in is a wilderness. Imagine in a world where there is wilderness and there is no place to rest. That would be a problem. Now, the Bible said, Elijah ran. As he was running, he came under a juniper tree. When he came under a juniper tree, he rested. Elijah was resting. Elijah was happy that he saw Juniper tree. 
Juniper tree gave him comfort. Juniper tree gave him protection. Now, I put this for us to know in Africa, many students don't have classroom the way we have today. Many students, they study under trees. There are students that study under trees. Oh, sorry. There are students that study under tree. They study under tree. So the tree gave them coverage. Hallelujah. Yeah. So when Elijah ran and came under juniper tree, he was so tired, very tired. He was so exhausted, so weak. But Juniper Tree gave him coverage. The Juniper Tree gave him coverage. And Elijah was happy. Under the Juniper Tree, the Lord sent an angel that came. And the Bible said the angel gave him food and say, Elijah, rise and eat. Then Elijah woke up. When he woke up, he ate, he drank. And after he ate and drank, now he gets some strength. He was happy. He was very, very happy. Now, he slept again. And the Bible said, the angel called him again, rise, eat, and drink. Under juniper tree. God fed him under juniper tree by angel. Now I ask a question. What of if Elijah did not see the juniper tree? Hallelujah. Amen. Do you know what would have happened to Elijah? But because he saw juniper tree, he rested under the juniper tree. And God fed him. God fed him. And when God fed him, he had enough strength. Now, God spoke to him and said, for the journey is far. You are going to go on a very long journey. And because you are going to go on a very long journey, you need to eat. You need to be fed so that you get prepared. I must tell us that Elijah was well fed and he get prepared for the journey. And the Bible said, when Elijah started the journey again, the Bible said it took 40 days and 40 nights for that journey. Do you know what it is for somebody to walk for 40 days and 40 nights? If the person is not well prepared, the person will die. The person will be so weak and the person cannot make it. But because he was fed by God under the juniper tree, under the juniper tree, he received blessings from God. Under the juniper tree, he was encouraged by God. Under the juniper tree, he received strength. In our world today, maybe you don't see juniper tree, but you are 
in the Juniper Auditorium today. God has given you a Juniper where we are today. In the journey of life, everybody is on a journey. And you want to reach where you are going. How many of us want to get far in life? How many of us want to get far? How many of us? Every one of us want to get far, right? And we want to reach our destination. And for you to reach your destination, you must stop under the juniper tree. Under the juniper tree, God is ready to feed you. Under the juniper tree, God is ready to make you strong. Today we are all in juniper school. Hallelujah. God has brought teachers. God has brought the management of juniper. They are the angel. In the time of Elijah, it was an angel that fed him. But in our own time, God has brought us wonderful teachers so that they can feed us with the word of God. They can feed us with a lot of causes. They want to equip our mind so that we can walk and move on in the journey of life. Many of us here want to be doctor. Many of us here we want to be lawyers. Many of us here we want to be great men and women. And for us to be great, for us to be great men and women, we are here today to receive instruction from our teachers. To receive an instruction from the principal, from the management of Juniper School. God is still ready to bless the children of God. Many of us want to be a great man. Many of us want to be great women. Many of us want to be great in life. From some of us here today, some will be presidents, some will be prime ministers, some will be great men and women of God in a special way. That is why we're here. And God is ready to feed us under the juniper. Praise God. Hallelujah. So, in the book of First King, God, the Bible said how angel fed Elijah under the juniper. Today, we must know that juniper school stands for feeding the people of God. The Juniper School stands for feeding the children of God with wisdom, with knowledge, and with understanding so that we can be great men, so that we can be great women. That's why we must listen. That's why we must be good students. That's why we must be disciplined so that we can be great men and women in Fusha. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm so happy that we are here today. I'm so happy that we are here to hear from God what God wants us to know and what God wants us to do. In Juniper School, in Juniper School, I am seeing so many blessings in Juniper School. Like as principal said, my children, they are here in this school. And when they started in Juniper School, I saw that they are so busy. They are studying morning, day, and night. One day, I asked one of my child, and I said, 
You are so busy these days. And she said, yes, dad. I said, why? He said, daddy, Juniper. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yeah. So I was so happy. It makes me to know that under Juniper, my children, they are well fed. So that they can be able to walk in this journey of life. Every child that wants to be great, you need juniper. Every child that wants to make it, that wants to be great man, that wants to be great woman, you need juniper. For you to be great today, juniper is for you. God has sent an angels. They are the teachers today. The teachers, they are the angels you are seeing. And when you are willing, when you are disciplined, when you are obedient, you will be able to hear from their teaching and it will help you to be strong and you can make it in life and you will reach your goal. Elijah was well fed. Elijah under the juniper tree, he was well fed by God. That is why Elijah was able to walk for 40 days and 40 nights. So under juniper, you can be great with the teachings that is being taught in this very school. You can be great. You will achieve a lot. You'll be great in life. Your parents will be proud. Because today, me and my wife, we are proud of our children. Because of Juniper. Hallelujah. Amen. So I want every one of us in this room to always be attentive, always listen to God. Because through Juniper, God is preparing you to be a great leader. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Now I have a song that I would like every one of us to sing and that will help us. How many of us want to sing with me? How many of us? Everybody want to sing? Okay. Now, the song go this way. Under the juniper, under the juniper, under the juniper tree. My Lord, prepare me, give me security. Under the juniper tree, under the juniper, under the juniper, under the juniper tree, my Savior will cover me, give me security, under the juniper tree. Can we take it once more time again? Want to go under the juniper, under the juniper, under the juniper tree. My Savior will cover me, give me security under the juniper tree. Hallelujah. So I want every one of us to always be happy to be in this very school. Hallelujah. Amen. Be proud. Tell your friends that you are proud of being a student of Juniper. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. That's what I have for you this morning. God bless you.